Well, as you're preparing for hurricane season, you may think of items like batteries and canned foods, but you also want to be ready for what happens after the storm. Cleaning up damage may call for a chainsaw. Weather Authority meteorologist Mark Collins headed over to Ace Hardware to check out all the options and explains what you should look out for. Nice job, Jacob. You got that cut in 10 seconds. That limb all on a battery powered saw. We are talking about hurricane preparedness here at Ace Hardware and chainsaws. What type of chainsaw should you get? Well, we've got gas powered chainsaws, we've got electric chainsaws, we have battery operated chainsaws. You got quite the selection. Which one's best? Let's go in and find out. So, if I could have any choice of saw, it would be this one here 36 inch bar. If the storm were strong enough to bring down a tree that big, chances are my house wouldn't be there. So, Jacob, we've got some more practical saws here for the average homeowner. They range from gas powered to electric, even corded. Explain what the differences are between all these different saws. The main thing is battery operated saws it takes a battery. That's it. You're good to go. Uh, once you get into electric saws, something like this, you're going to require a cord, you're going to require power. So you need to know if you don't have power during a hurricane, you'll have to use this with a generator. Uh, other than that, you've got gas powered saws and we have gas powered saws that range from beginner uh, residential homeowner use all the way up to the professionals. So I'm intrigued about these battery powered saws, but can they really get the job done? They run for a long time. You're getting 30 to 45 minutes out of a lot of these battery operated saws. Also what's very important is the safety materials. You've got some ear protection and chaps. One of the main things on safety, you want to protect your eyes, you want to protect your head, and you want to protect your ears.